Today, we'll discuss the rumor that E.R. Kelly could lead J. Z's secrets. Rap legend Biggie Smalls and the guy many people refer to as the king of Recurb got together to make a collaborative album. The CD was groundbreaking and its accompanying show at Miss G was standing room only. R. Kelly was sprayed with pepper spray during this event and was subsequently removed off the tour. The event that sparked their feud occurred 21 years ago, and now R. Kelly is threatening to expose a secret that might land Jay in prison. Where did Jay, Z, and R. Kelly go wrong, exactly? You can't dispute the synergy between Jay, Z, and R. Kelly, since they had previously worked together on certain tracks before agreeing to release the album together, in the rework of his song Fiesta, R. Kelly portrayed Jay-Z, while Jay portrayed Kelly. Innocent until proved guilty, there is evident synergy between the performers, as seen by both tracks. And during a press conference in early 2002, Jay, Z, and R. Kelly revealed that they will be releasing a collaborative album and touring 40 cities. The best of both worlds, they really couldn't have chosen a more fitting name. We creative people, so creative people create. You know, just the idea of having a whole album with myself and R. Kelly, you just see how it would come out. An amazing prospect, so we just we put it together and we start coming up and here we are. Would you agree? The Best of Both Worlds is one of the first albums of its sort, and it has Jay Z and R. Kelly, so it naturally succeeds. A mad scientist in the basement, you know what I'm saying? We Jay is real creative, I'm real creative, and it's like you want to get together and mix potions, you know what I'm saying, just to see what happens. That's how the lights were created, you know, the piano and, and cameras, you know. Jay Z would go on to release many more collaborative efforts, but this is the first one he's ever worked on. With initial sales of 223,000 copies, the album debuted at position two on the U.S. Billboard 200 list. However, there were significant conflicts before the CD was released. A video of RRPRE, Kelly urinating on and sexually assaulting a minor girl, surfaced online a month before the album dropped. Yeah, I'm fighting for my life. As soon as this dispute arose, Jay distanced himself from it. R. Kelly's arrest on 21 charges of sexual conduct with minor females put a temporary halt to the album's tour. In 2003, E.E.R., Kelly was arrested once again when authorities in Miami discovered 12 photos of a minor on his digital camera. He's guilty. I just hope and pray that he get help. If he's not, I wish everybody embraced him. I mean, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know that. Like, I know I ain't have nothing to do with that, so. Mm -hmm. In spite of ERP, Kelly's legal difficulties owing to sexual abuse of kids, Jay Z continued to work with him even after the charges were dismissed due to the absence of adequate reasons for a search warrant. The Best of Both Worlds Tour, which kicked off at Madison Square Garden on October 29, 2004, was a watershed moment for hip hop and rent pop and rep. Unfortunately, the performance did not proceed as expected. What if I told you that Jay Z was the last performer on this show? R. Kelly is in the hospital after being sued for 75 million pounds. He didn't hurt himself performing or get assaulted by any of the women he abused. One of the event's organizers doused R. Kelly with pepper spray, leading to the incident. Let me obtain your backing first before I spill the beans on that fateful evening. It's worth noting that the couple had been experiencing issues even before that fateful night in the yard. This tour officially kicked off on September 29, 2004. The entire saga started with this first concert, which took place in Kelly's hometown of Chicago. R. Kelly concludes the broadcast by claiming that the Jay-Z cam made an effort to sabotage his publicity. So, R. Kelly decided to be two hours late to the next concert the next evening. And on October 17, Jay skipped out on the show because he said he had to tend to some pressing family business. Well, this unexpected event is what prompted him to attend Asher's birthday celebration that night. Concerts in Hartford and Milwaukee had to be canceled due to the chaos that surrounded the Best of Both Worlds tour. Despite this, Jay and Kelly released their second album together, Unfinished Business, on October 26, 2004, followed by Kelly and Jay, Z's LP, three days later. It was at Madison Square Garden where the following show was held. R. Kelly claimed that an unidentified caller threatened his life just before the broadcast began. However, around the 45. Minute mark in ER, Kelly's address, an odd event occurs. R. Kelly dropped the mic and ran off stage after warning the audience that two individuals in the audience were pointing firearms at him. There were no firearms in the stadium, but Jay Z stepped out and started pumping up the crowd anyhow. 
The security team also searched the garden, but didn't turn up any firearms there. Our Kelly has chosen to perform again. Many witnesses, however, said that E.R. Kelly's return to the stage was motivated only by his envy of Jay-Z's popularity. A member of Jay's crew named Tate threw pepper spray on Kelly and two of his guys as they ascended the steps to the stage. This means that Tay E.T. is more than simply another member of Jay's crew. You probably already know who Tate is if you're a fan of Jay's music. As one of Jay-Z's closest buddies from boyhood, Tay T has been addressed in innumerable songs over various albums. Tay had a heart attack after jumping over five or six niggas he loved. Kelly was taken to the hospital as Jay was wrapping up a show with artists, including Asher Mary, JB, Oblige, and AT. Kelly and Jay had been working together up until now, but they've officially become mortal foes. R. Kelly was kicked off the tour and ultimately barred from playing at Madison Square Garden. After R. Kelly sued Jay, Z for $75 million on November 1, 2004, the tour was rebranded as Jay Z and Friends and Jay. Z responded with a countersuit of his own. The complaint, however, was resolved out of court and his case was dismissed. Their journey, however, continues from there. Since then, R. Kelly has released numerous more albums and established himself as a legend in the music industry. You probably already know, however, that his career is doomed after he was found guilty on several counts of sexual assault against children and featured in a documentary that accurately portrayed who R. Kelly is to his lone surviving victim. R. Kelly has lately threatened to expose Jay-Z, therefore questions have been raised regarding this documentary. And it's all because to the vision of the documentary's executive producer, Hampton Dream and Jay, Z have always had a special bond. Prior to working on R. Kelly's survival, Dream had co-written Jay-Z's biography Decoded with him in 2010. Dream claims that Jay-Z has consistently backed her financially. Although R. Kelly's Survivor was an important and well-intentioned documentary, it has been suggested that its makers had another agenda in mind. There have been whispers that Jay, Z was involved with the documentary financially. Despite the positive outcome, there have been rumors that Jay did this to spite R. Kelly after having to pay him a big sum to settle the lawsuit out of court. Ronnie Bowe, a close friend of E.R. close friend of SRT. Kelly's has said that Jay-Z may have been instrumental in R. Kelly's arrest. He threatens to expose rumors that Jay-Z is also allegedly guilty of the same crime for which he is currently in prison. Everybody bashing him about Fuck with Aaliyah when she was young, but then you gotta think about Jay Z was fuck with Foxy Brown when she was the exact same age. One of these rumors is that Jay Z C was involved with rapper Foxy Brown when she was only 15 years old. This can prove that Jay Z is himself to blame for the crimes for which he convicted R. Kelly, and then he can go to jail. But we will talk about this in the next issues. But for now, the video is coming to an end, and you write your opinion on this in the comments under the video.